Welcome to Thursday's Devotions. What was it that motivated these New Testament believers so that they were willing to give everything, even willing to give their lives for the sake of the gospel? Well, as we continue looking at Paul's letter to Timothy, and today looking at 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verses 8 to 12, we begin to see something of what it was that caused them to do this. Let's just read a wee part of the time. So first of all, let's read verse 8. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but share in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. Paul has been saying to Timothy about his faith, that living faith, that sincere faith he had, and about the gift that he had, and that that gift he has to fan into a flame that his gift, his ability to teach and share God's truth, it needs to grow and develop. And here he says that he's not to be ashamed of the testimony with the Lord. He is to be proud of the message of the gospel and have a great desire to share it. He's not to be ashamed of, of Paul Eller, who's suffering for the gospel. But he too is to share in suffering of the gospel. And he does this by the power of of God. It's God who's in control and God will enable him to be faithful in these trials. But why should he do that? Well, look at verse 9. He says, Who saved us and called us to a holy calling. And because of our work, not because of our works, but because of his own purpose and grace, which he gave us in Christ Jesus before the ages began. And Timothy's been reminded, you have to share the gospel because you're called to this work. You've been saved by this gospel. This is a holy calling that you have to continue to share it. You've been set apart for this task. Remember that God's grace has reached down to you. You're saved not because of works, but because of that grace of God. And that grace of God shows God has a plan and a, a purpose for your life. A purpose which God has had from eternity before the world began. He had this plan for Timothy. And so Timothy, in fitting with that plan, needs to keep sharing this message of the gospel. Then he goes on and says in verse 10, And which now has been manifested through the appearing of our Saviour Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. And he's saying that this plan of God, this purposes of God, it's now been revealed and made known through the appearing of Jesus the Saviour. And look what he says what Jesus come to do. He abolishes death. He brings life. He brings immortality to those who will trust in him. He brings life that is eternal through the gospel of Jesus Christ. What a privilege it is to share this. This is the message the world needs to hear. A world that is dying. A world that is facing death. The people of the world need to find hope and the hope will only be found in the Saviour Christ Jesus. Trusting in him as Saviour and Lord. Having his life which is life eternal. Paul says in verse 11 for which I was appointed a preacher an apostle and teacher. His life is about the gospel. Maybe you're not in full-time Christian service in that you don't have a full-time job maybe in the church. But we're all called to full-time Christian service. We're all called to share the message of the gospel whatever situation we find ourselves in life. And Paul finishes the section, verse 12, by saying, Which is why I suffer as I do. But I'm not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed and convinced that he is able to guard unto the day. What? has been entrusted to me. Paul says, listen, I I suffer. Paul remembers in chains. He's he's facing death. He suffers for this gospel. But he's not disappointed. He's not disillusioned. He says, I'm not ashamed, for he knows who he believes. He he hasn't everything worked out. He doesn't know what's going to happen in everything in the future. But he knows the Lord. He trusts the Lord. And he's convinced that the Lord is going to guard that deposit, going to guard his ministry, going to help him to continue to carry on and being faithful to the Lord. Do you know Christ in your life? Do you know the transforming grace of Jesus the Saviour? 
If you do, your whole life is to be captivated by Jesus and this message of the gospel. And it's Jesus who's the one who's enabled you to go on and to share this message to a world out there, to your family, to your friends, to your neighbours, work colleagues, schoolmates. This is what we have to bring to the world. This is what the, the world needs. It's not easy. There's suffering, there's struggle. You'll get rebuke, you'll get criticism. Be ready for that. But know that you have Christ with you. Christ sustaining you. Christ carrying you through. As you seek to be a witness for him. Amen.